Um, hello, everyone. I'm Pei Xing Li. I'm from Peking University. My work is on 3D face reconstruction from a single depth image. Um, to estimate a 3D face from a single depth image is a challenging task considering the depth uh, device noise and the various facial uh, shapes due to uh, due to the deformations, including pose and expressions. Most exciting works rely on RGB or RGBD images to estimate the pose, identity, and the expression parameters of the 3D face. Uh, where the facial texture in the color images provide semantic constraints for facial features. For the outdoor apl applications with uncontrolled illuminations, the facial textures could not act as a constraint for the cinematic consistency in the 3D face estimation. The depth image is available to illuminations and provides stable constraints to facial shapes. To identify the cinematic correspondence from the single depth image is a cornerstone to fit the 3D face with the depth image. The statistical deformable models constitute the state of the art in facial MC tasks, including 3D face reconstruction, both estimation, identification, and the lo landmark location. Traditional 3D face reconstruction approaches rely on online optimization from a collection of photos or internet images, uh, where the optimization solution is sensitive to the initialization. The direct fitting of the statistical model to the depth image is prone to a mismatch of the facial features, such as the wide open mouth, without the cinematic constraints of the facial features. The learning based method is feasible to remove the online computational complexity. Richardson generate a large set of random uh, facial images from a non 3 d geometric face to train the CNN for 3 d face inference. The ResNight is used to obtain facial geometry and texture for identification. The above provides learning method relying on a large set of manual labeling of the generated static data. The other lab labeling is tedious. The model learned from synthetic data is found to be domain shift problem. The unsupervised or weak supervised autoencoder based framework has drawn considerable attention recently. Ian formulated the learning procedure of the single view 3D shape reconstruction as the unencoder decoder network. The other projection transformation was used as regularization. The MOFA method combines CNN-based encoder with an expert-designed decoder, the trainable corrective module was added to the autoencoder to obtain facial details. The above method relies on the textual information of the color images for semantic correspondence of the post-processing to estimate 3D surface from without multi-view depths and uh, uh, solute images. In this paper, the proposed method calculated the 3D face from a single image without textual cues uh, or the intermediate multi-view depths images. In this paper, we present, present a depth images embedding network DEN to develop a 3D face complete completion and reconstruction model. The proposed DEN can be stacked on the exciting basis such as the rest night for the inference of the identity expression and the post codes. The neural network parameters of the quick coder are learned by the non-rigid alignment of the uh, parametric expressive 3D face result from the model-based decoder and the input depth image. More specifically, the multi-level field point cloud parameters 
uh, and the synthetic adaptive weighting are uh, introduced for geometric alignment. The patch-based contextual constraint favor the corresponding pair with similar, sim similar point cloud encoding of the surrounding patches, uh, facilitating the symmetric corresponding correspondence and uh, uh, parameter parameterized of the depth images and the 3D faces. Uh, the task is formulated as binding the input depth image to a low dimensional code vector that determines the 3D expansive phase uniquely. We employ the 3D uh, MM based parametric uh, model and uh, represent the phase X as a linear combination of the shape and the expression basis. We also consider the uh, 3D rigid transformation parameters, the rotation and the translation. Uh, given the parametric uh, primat phase model, the encoder performs the uh, code inference. We built the encoder based on ResNite to augment the most level feature uh, fusion and information um, propagation. Where the uh, cascade convolutional blocks are used for feature extraction. The feature maps are sent to three br uh, branches with fully, fully connected layers for code inference regarding the identity, the expression, and the pose. Given the identity, expression, and pose code, the model based decoder reconstructs the 3D expansive phase X from the code vector. Then given a tree in this site I, uh, we leverage uh, an unsupervised framework to find the optimal optimal parameters of the DEM based model by penalizing the gap between the reconstruction 3D phase X and the import uh, depth image I. The date term of the depth image fitting penalize the gap between the input depth image and the reconstruction 3D uh, phase. The operator set converts the depth image to a 3D point cloud. Given the DEM based model, we drive a matching function phi to map a point to the reconstruction, uh, reconstruct the 3D phase X. From a point P, its counterpart XJ is uh, the nearest neighbor of the P on X. The loss function is used to minimize the weighted distance between the point B and its counterparts. Instead of using a single channel depth image for similarity analysis, we built a multi level, uh, a multi -level uh, the input depth images by denoising and downsampling of the uh, 3D point clouds. Instead of using uniform weighting, we present an uh, adaptive weighting uh, uh, scheme according to the geometric variations of identities and expressions. The geometric variations on the neural 3D phase. We utilize the st statistical shape variations of ident identities and expressions to define the vertex weight. The shape variations of 150 neural scans and 46 expressions of the face warehouse data side is estimated. In order to enforce the fitting of the facial features, we assign weight WF to vertex according to their distance from the region of the interest on the neural 3D mesh, including the eyebrows, the eyes, Nose and the upper and the lower hips. In summary, the adaptive vertex weight W is uh, defined as a normalized combination of the above shape and the feature related uh, weights. We expect to minimize the distance between the 3D face and its uh, thematic uh, counterpart of the deep depth image. However, the nearest Dimber searching scheme is not guaranteed to find the uh, thematic uh, correspondence. We introduce the contextual consistence constraints to penalize the matching pairs 
value similarity point cloud, encoding of the surrounding patches. The point cloud S is fed to the point cloud uh, encoder, which results the uh, which results in a feature vector uh, that is enough for reconstruction. The feature vector result from the encoder is defined as the contextual feature. The contextual feature of the facial point on training depth image can be computed in the pre-processing. And that by minimizing the uh, contextual constraints, by enforce the semantic correspondence and favor the point pairs of the depth image and the 3D face with similar contextual point clouds. Uh, the shape and expression parameters are regularized for the plausible uh, 3D face under the as assumption that the model parameters satisfy the zero mean Gaussian uh, distribution. They use the take uh, honor regularization. The overloss function is defined as follows. The first term is depth image fitting. The second term is contextual consistency. The third term is regularization. They perform experiments on depth images captured by the Kinect. The design consists of uh, 30 thousand depth images captured from the 10 subjects. We also use the popular depth uh, image design captured, captured by Kinect, BIWI, and ICT 3D HP. In the pre processing, we crop the depth image to a res resolution of 154 by 154 with the face certain. We constantly evaluated the proposed method in 3D face reconstruction and the attribute, attribute transfer using the mean surface deviation matrix. The MSD measures the mean point to point distance between the reconstruction 3D face and the input depth image. I evaluated the rigid transformation error using the mean absolute error between the estimate angles and the ground truth. Uh, the above shows the face prediction from the depth image with various poses and expressions. Top uh, is the input depth image. The middle is the 3D face estimated by the purpose mass method. The bottom is overlapping the of the uh, estimated 3D face and the input point cloud. The RGB images are not uh, used in our system, which is shown as the reference. We report comparisons of the 3D face reconstruction. The proposed method realizes a more accurate 3D face estimate uh, than the compared alignment based method. Uh, there is no guarantee for the thematic matching in the compared alignment based method. There, the reconstruction 3D face could not capture the deformed facial expressions without the help of pre-trained benchmarks. We compare the proposed method with the RGB-based method. Compared with the RGB method, the proposed method has other alignment-based methods, reduce the MSD fitting errors. Uh, the above uh, shows the comparisons of the 3D face estimation. Uh, A and B show the uh, effect of the contextual consistent constraints for the semantic correspondence. We ob observe that the lip shape is more accurate by using the patch based contextual consistent constraints. Uh, the gap between the estimated 3D face and the depth in it reduces. Uh, when using the adaptive fittings, the point cloud parameter uh, accumulate facial geometrics in different scales, which reduces the fitting errors. Uh, the proposed most, most uh, mass uh, system realized the density corresponding between us, the 3D parametric face and the depth image. Uh, the vertex attribute of the parametric, uh, parametric facial meshes uh, are transformed to the nearest neighbors 
on depth image, they realize the segmentation maps of the facial features and the native uh, landmarks on the depth images. They compare with the attribute transform uh, by our method with the state of the art uh, color image based uh, method. The proposed method achieves reliable and innovations uh, regardless of the bad illuminations. Uh, the proposed method is cap capable to the head pose estimation. It performs the head pose estimation on the BIW and ICT 3D HB each side. They compare with the prior uh, arts using depth, uh, depth images for 3D head tracking. The proposed method outperforms the compared pose uh, estimation method on the BIW and the the ICT 3D HB sites. Uh, the conclusion, uh, we present an uh, encoder network for 3D phase com uh, completion, completion and reconstruction from a, from a single depth image, exporting the adaptive uh, weighting and the contextual constraints for simulacral correspondence. We learned the encoder network in a uh, supervised manner and avoid tedious innovation. The 3D phase estimation techniques avoid online iterative optimization and the procedure stable performance even under poor illuminations. The dense correspondence between the depth image and the 3D phase model enables the automatic landmark location and the feature segmentation on the depth images. Uh, that's all, thank you. Uh, this, is no, this is no time for questions.